Hey, what's going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 Draft Champions video. Guys, my team over there on the right, LaDainian Tomlinson, and Damakong Su, Sebastian Vollmer, my three stars, I guess you can say, on the team. We've got other guys as well. Don't you worry, those are not the only three stars that we have on the team. But this is a kind of a continuation from the previous series that we did a couple of days ago where we did the first two games. You guys saw the draft and everything like that. And this is kind of the second half of the game. So uh, in this game, we're going to be playing a guy who I think had a pretty decent team himself there. But I'm just not sure that he's matched up against a guy like me with this beast-ass team with LaDainian Tomlinson, Calvin Johnson, everybody like that. No, I'm just joking, guys. I'm not a beast at this game, but I'm having a lot of fun playing Draft Champions. Actually, quite a bit more fun playing Draft Champions than I am Madden Ultimate Team. And it's plays like that that make it so much fun. Calvin Johnson breaks two tackles with a stiff arm. Megatron gets into the end zone. An awesome play there. I absolutely love that route that he ran. And just everything worked out great on that play. Now, my opponent here on offense, he's trying to put up points on the board on his first drive. And he does make some bad throws there on the first couple of plays. And then this one, oh, probably should have been picked itself brings up then a fourth and nine to my opponent of course you know he's got to go for it it's the first drive of the game so you have to go for it but he's going to get intercepted there on fourth down we do end up bringing it back eh, probably a couple lost yards there probably shouldn't have gotten the interception if, if the defense was smart they're probably not going to intercept that but it doesn't really matter because look at Ladanian Thomas and picking up the yardage there bringing it right back to where about where he threw it or so and we're back to that outside pass there Calvin Johnson tried to hit him again with it because if we, it, hey it worked the first First time why not try it again and we're back to the ground game here picking up the first down again Ladanian Tomlinson kind of the workhorse for our team right now has been in the first couple of games and he is now right here we're going to use what we had been setting up that run and then we're going to find a wide open Jordan Cameron in the end zone for the touchdown 14 to nothing here very early in this one my opponent back on offense we see the screen pass coming, but we're not able to stop it. He does get the first down there as we end the first quarter. Now we're headed into the second quarter here, and look at my opponent. He's trying to find players down the field, waiting, waiting, waiting. Finding a man is Brian Finneran, and oh, he's going to break the tackle too. You've got to be kidding me. And then, of course, he's going to celebrate. That kind of pissed me off, I'm not going to lie. Down 14-7, to and you're going to freaking celebrate, dude? Are you serious? Are you freaking kidding me? Well... Fine, if you're going to celebrate, we're going to hit you again with the plays that you haven't been able to stop, my man. So, again, we go with the toss outside LaDainian Tomlinson. This time, he's moving his guys to the inside. I don't know what the hell he's thinking doing that. And LaDainian Tomlinson is off to the races once again. But he does get taken down from behind this time. A little heel click there. A couple of plays later, it's Tomlinson again on the toss. Look at the blocking down the field. Easily into the end zone. Tomlinson into the end zone once again. He is just an absolute monster for me. Definitely my favorite running back to use in draft champions. Anytime that I have the opportunity to get Tomlinson, I pretty much always go for it. So, yeah, I, I'm definitely liking having him on the team along with Megatron. And Phillip Rivers has been very good for us. This entire draft champions team that we drafted, I feel like, is, is a very good team for my play style. May not be for everybody, but it has been for me. And look at this play on third and 17. We swatted away. Awesome play there. I believe that, I, I guess I don't remember who that was. I want to say it was Jonathan Joseph, but I don't think it was. Fourth and 17, and he's got Peyton Manning at quarterback. I was thinking there's absolutely no way he's going to take off and run with Peyton Manning. He did, and he picked up the freaking first down on 4th and 17. Unbelievable. Bombing it up here at the end of the first half. 15 seconds left, of course. Brian Finner is going to catch that. Of course he is, right? Ah, so frustrating. But first and goal, and look at this. The goal line stop is there. We make the stop. He doesn't have any timeouts left, guys. He has no timeouts. And look at this. The clock running out, running out, running out, and he's not able to get the snap off before the end of the first half. Unbelievable. He walks away with zero points after that bomb to Brian Finneran, and quite frankly, guys, that's been the only thing that he has had in this game. Two long passes to Brian Finneran in coverage, and really nothing else besides that. That right there was probably his best play other than those two long passes to Finneran that he's had so far in this game. And he's got 164 yards passing on three, on what, six completions? Basically three completions. Let's call it like it is. And look at this. Right here, he is going to take a hit and throw it directly at my linebacker. Probably the easiest interception that there has ever been in a Madden game. And of course, my guy drops it. Look at this lag here. This is not the video, guys. This is the actual gameplay that, you were deal that I was dealing with in this game. I don't know what the hell was going on. There were just certain times where it was lagging like crazy, so I wanted to show that. And then look at this. The very next play, really no lag here. 
So I have no idea what's going on. Sometimes Madden just, for whatever reason, just has terrible lag, and I don't understand it, but hey, you know, it's it's EA. You, you can't really complain. It's just, when you buy an EA game, you just know sometimes that the servers are going to be ridiculous. And right there, Ryan Matthews, I think that was, gets into the end zone on that run. So, uh, nice run out of shotgun there. I wasn't able to make the tackle on him. He just kind of swerved his way into the end zone. So, nice little play there. Third and three here, though. We're back on offense. And look at this pass here to Dante Moncrief. That simple out route has been very, very effective for me in draft champions. Because a lot of guys just don't really have the great players out there on the edge. And we're just able to pick up easy first down after easy first down with it. Unless he goes up there and starts jamming. And then he drops off a guy into coverage in that zone. It's pretty much a completion every time against man. And really, it's a completion against most zones. Owns, unless you man him up and uh or unless you uh go up to the line and jam him other than that it's pretty much a completion so i'm definitely like i said loving that pass that's my favorite route in this game so far that i've found and uh we're definitely using it to it, its full potential here here it is again Moncrief wide open once he makes that break it it doesn't even really matter who's covering him it, it really doesn't end of the game here and uh yeah we do take a couple of kneels and we're gonna kick the ball through the uprights here Hey, look, normally I'm not going to try and rub in the score, but hey, he had to celebrate when he got that touchdown with Finner in. I wasn't out here celebrating on my touchdown, so he needs to not be an asshole. So he's going to take this L, 24-14, to 14, and uh, yeah, we're feeling pretty good about how we've been playing so far in this Draft Champion Series. We've got one more game now. One more game to try and get that four badge pack, get closer to the Patrick Peterson that we've been saving up for. I haven't really had as much time to play this game as I've really wanted to, and I know you guys are frustrated with me. You're asking me, why aren't you uploading more Madden gameplay and all this type of thing? I promise, guys, it's coming. I promise I will have more time to play here in the coming days and uh, hopefully the coming weeks here, and then obviously going on into the winter season. I'm not going to have quite as much time outside with the baby and with the wife and that kind of stuff, so it's probably going to be more indoor stuff and then that'll probably mean more video games for me so you know how it is but final game here of this draft champion series we're going to try and get the like i said the four badge pack that's what we're going for and here we are guys opening kickoff here arenas nearly is going to bring this thing back look at this broken tackle two three broken tackles nearly a fourth or i guess the fourth broken tackle nearly a fifth broken tackle and finally taken down at the 33 yard line i thought you guys would get a kick out of that even though it was only what a, a 13 yard gain from what would have been uh, at the 20 yard line if we just were to you know kick it through the back of the end zone or whatever but hey it was a pretty sweet return, so I thought you guys would want to see it. Anyway, back on offense here, and look at this. We're taking a sack there on our first play-action pass. Unfortunately, not able to pick it up. So it brings up a second and 19, and most of the time, that's going to mean that you're not going to be running. Not in this case, guys. We're taking off with LaDainian Tomlinson, and we are getting into the end zone again. The best running back in this game, in my opinion, 2003 flashback legend LaDainian Tomlinson, an absolute monster, and he gets into the end zone once again for us. So my opponent's got a chance here on offense now, and look at that little touch pass there by Tannehill. I had to throw that one in there because that was just an awesome throw. I can't even complain about it. That was just a great throw. Tiptoe catch on the sidelines, but it didn't matter because a couple of plays later, he's throwing it up into coverage. Jonathan Joseph coming up with the interception, and we're back on offense here, trying to hit him up for big yardage here. Dante Moncrief, about a 15-yard gain there, looking pretty good, and we're back on the ground now with Tomlinson. He is having trouble stopping the run just like the previous guy did, and look at LaDainia Tomlinson finally taken down from behind but another huge gain and we're back throwing it to the edge here Calvin Johnson breaking tackles oh finally it's smacked down there though a big hit Phillip Rivers three for three in this one I th think we completed every single pass in the last game as well I don't think I threw any incompletions Moncrief here over the middle on the mesh route and then he stepped out of bounds he actually kind of got a bad animation there probably should have been a bigger gain but it really again didn't matter because LaDainian Tomlinson just getting the blocks that he need with the speed and everything like that very very difficult to defend and Tomlinson gets into the end zone great coverage here down the field there on the tight end Tannehill put it right in the right spot and he just couldn't get the catch because we kind of had good coverage there on it and uh, he just made a nice play to pop it away Second play on the drive, we do hit him while he throws, thro goes for an incompletion, brings up a third and 10, and my opponent comes out there with the hard count, and our defensive lineman, Derek, Se Derek Shelby, decides to jump off sides. So that brings up now a third and five. That's one of the rarest things that I've seen in this game with the, uh, with the off sides there. But we do get the interception anyway to Sean Gibson. Steps in front of that one, another great pick. And guys, that is gonna do it in this game. Ryan Tannehill throwing two picks early in this one. LaDainian Tomlinson scoring two touchdowns. 
Phillip Rivers completing every single pass that he threw. And again, guys, that is going to do it in this one. My opponent does decide to concede the game. So we win our draft champion series 4-0, baby. That's what I'm talking about, son. So there it is, guys. We get the four draft pack or the four badge pack or whatever it is. And uh, you guys are going to see that here as we redeem an ultimate team. But again, I just want to thank you guys for uh, giving me some support here. I know we've been doing a lot of fantasy content, and that's not for everybody. I get it. Um, but thank you guys anyway for your continued support on this channel. I truly do appreciate it. I am going to continue to try and do as much Madden stuff as I can and mix in the fantasy football stuff as well. So don't worry, guys. We're not going away from anything. We're still going to continue to put out as much content as we can. But uh, again, thank you all so much for all your support. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor. Go ahead, hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you are new. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you all so much again, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.